Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about setting up your Windows 11 account or Windows 11 computer without the need for a Microsoft account integration. So since later builds of Windows 10, Microsoft has really been pushing Microsoft account integration into your Windows experience. And there's always been workarounds just to creating a traditional local account on your computer. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So it should be a pretty straightforward process and we're going to go jump right into it. So like I said, we're already part of the way through the setup process here. But if you're watching this video, the first thing you want to do is disconnect your computer from your network. So if you're using an Ethernet connection, it's very easy. You just unplug it from the back of your desktop. If you're using a laptop computer, that makes it a little bit more tricky. In that case, I'd recommend just probably turning off your router settings as well just unplugging your router. So just turn off all Wi-Fi connection to your device so it doesn't pick up any sort of network connection. So again, we're already kind of part of the way through this setup here, but again, make sure you're completely disconnected for your network. In my case, I've already disconnected my network card. So this is just a moment here, so it's already been disconnected. In my case, you'll see what the options will be, which I will tell you will be different if you are using a uh, computer that's connected to Wi-Fi or Ethernet. Okay, so at this point you're going to go ahead and select the correct country and then select yes. Again, this is what we're getting when you're completely disconnected from the internet here. So, again, then you're going to select your keyboard method. This isn't that different from other versions of Windows, it's just a little bit um, different design. And we're going to go ahead and skip that option. Again, you'll customize this depending on your own preferences. So this is definitely what you want to focus on for this tutorial here. So where it says, let's connect you to a network. Uh, you'll need an internet connection to continue setting up your device. What's connected, you'll get the latest features and security updates. Do not connect, okay? Select, I don't have internet. This is very important. We're going to set up internet once your computer has turned on and it's all finished setting up. You do not need internet or a network connection to install Windows 11. So it's going to be very easy for most of you guys just to go ahead and select your network here, but that's a big mistake. You don't want to do that. Instead, you want to select, I don't have a network or I don't have internet. So again, I don't have internet, select that. And now select continue with limited setup. Again, they really want to push you to this Wi-Fi Microsoft account, but again, select continue with limited setup. So go ahead and select that. And then it's going to ask who's going to use this device. Type in whatever the user account name you want to type in here. doesn't matter to me. And you're going to select next. Enter a password if you want. Otherwise, just leave it blank. I usually leave it blank. Um, you probably do want to have it in your case. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and uncheck a lot of these privacy settings. Pretty much the hardest part or the reason you're on this tutorial is already done. So you can probably... I mean, honestly, just finish up on your own, but I'm just going to go ahead and finish installing Windows here just to show you guys there is no Microsoft email or Microsoft account integration. So we're just going to let this finish installing here.
So once you close out all that, if you turn back on your network adapter settings like I just did um, in a brief momentary pause that you guys probably missed, I have reconnected back to the network settings. So I just plugged my Ethernet cable back in or network card. In your case, if you're using a laptop, you just want to go toggle your router back on. In that case, you might have to do that. But otherwise, again, enter in your network credentials and you should be able to access your Internet again. So pretty straightforward process, guys. I do hope that I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.